The roar of the water was deafening as white foam crashed over ancient rocks in the heart of the Amazon. Our team battled the Rio Negro's rapids, searching for a legendary serpent, guardian of these waters. Suddenly, a gigantic green anaconda appeared, perfectly camouflaged and moving with purpose. The legend was real, and we were face to face with it. The green anaconda, Eunectes marinus, is the heaviest snake on earth. Thicker than a car tire, pure muscle. As constrictors, they use strength, not venom, to overpower prey. Capybaras, caimans, even jaguars. Their eyes and nostrils sit atop their heads, letting them hunt stealthily from beneath the water's surface. Anacondas are apex predators, spending most of their lives in the swamps and slow rivers of the Amazon and Orinoco basins. On land, they're slow and vulnerable, but in water, they move with surprising speed and grace. Female anacondas are much larger than males. The giant we found was a true matriarch. They give birth to live young, dozens at a time, and growing to this size takes many years. Finding one in the rapids was extraordinary, a sign of a healthy, wild ecosystem. This snake was a living monument to the Amazon's untamed power. Giants like her are proof that the wild still holds secrets. Capturing this anaconda was the most dangerous encounter of my career. The rapids fought us at every turn, our boat tossed by the relentless current. Communication was impossible over the roar. We relied on hand signals and instinct. The anaconda, immense and powerful, used the current to evade us. Ropes and nets were too risky. We had to do this by hand. I entered the water, heart pounding, my team holding my safety line. I reached for her head, feeling the raw power of a living locomotive. She thrashed, her body coiling with explosive force. It took all seven of us to guide her toward a calmer pool downstream. Inch by inch, we fought the river and the snake's strength. Finally, we reached a protected eddy, exhausted but triumphant. The anaconda was safe, and so were we. The hardest part was over, or so we thought. The river had tested us, but the real work was just beginning. We had earned the right to study this living legend. The adventure was far from over. With the anaconda secure, the scale of our discovery hit us. Dr. Eris Thorne, veteran herpetologist, was speechless. This giant rewrote the record books. I never thought I'd see one this size, he admitted, awe in his voice. Dr. Lena Petrova, our wildlife vet, marveled at the snake's health. Clear skin, bright eyes, a testament to the ecosystem's richness. But why was she in the rapids? Anacondas are ambush predators, not fighters of fierce currents. The Yanomami guides watched with reverence. The River Mother is real, Kaminari whispered. She protects these waters. Their legends, it turned out, held deep truths. News of our capture spread fast. Colleagues worldwide reacted with shock and excitement. Dr. Brian Fry, venom expert, warned, a bite from this snake could cause massive trauma. Your team's achievement is extraordinary. The data we'd collect would be a gold mine for science. This was more than a big snake. It was a biological marvel. The Amazon had revealed one of its greatest secrets. We were just beginning to understand her story. And now came the challenge of moving her to our research camp for a full health check. We built a custom canvas sling guiding her gently inside. She was surprisingly calm as if she understood we meant no harm. Ten of us lifted together, carrying her immense weight through tangled jungle to the transport boat. Every step was deliberate, the rainforest silent except for our careful movements. At the boat, we lowered her into a water-filled container designed for her comfort. She settled at the bottom, muscles relaxing. The journey downriver was quiet, all of us mesmerized by the living legend in our care. We had moved a giant, and now the real science could begin. The next chapter of her story, and ours, was about to unfold. The Amazon had trusted us with its queen. At camp, the scientific work began. We measured her, 10.2 meters long, 245 kilograms, record-breaking. 
Dr. Petrova's health check revealed she was pregnant, carrying dozens of embryos. Her genes for giantism would live on. We took blood, skin, and tissue samples to analyze her genetics and diet. Isotopic analysis would reveal what she'd eaten and how she fit into the ecosystem. Every cell was a library of information about the Amazon's food web. Before release, we fitted her with a satellite tag to track her movements and answer the mystery of the rapids. This data would revolutionize our understanding of giant anacondas. After hours of careful study, it was time to return her to the wild. We had learned so much, but her story was just beginning. The Amazon had given us a glimpse into its deepest secrets. Our work would help protect these giants for generations. The queen was ready to return home. Releasing the giant anaconda was pure joy. In a quiet lagoon, she paused, then vanished into the depths, back where she belonged. This was more than adventure. It was a landmark for science. Her size proved that legends can be real and that the Amazon still holds wonders. The samples and data we gathered will fuel research and conservation for years. Her story is a symbol of hope, a reminder that wild places and wild creatures still exist. She is an ambassador for her species and the rainforest. Our journey pushed the limits of exploration and science. The River Mother is real, and her story is just beginning. The Amazon's mysteries endure, waiting for those brave enough to seek them.